Yeah, I want to go over something I think is going to be an extremely important and cheap but very effective tip for using the um, blood pulsing unit, uh, blood cleansing unit, what do you want to call it, for the Bob Beck protocol. Now, this is not the one from Soda Instruments. This is from Bioelectric. I got this from Mike Forrest down in Ecuador. He's a former Texan, and uh, I like his units a lot better. But I'm going to go into something, how to make a your own electrode gel now when you buy electrode gel for like heart rate man monitors or um, you know especially like when you're using uh, something when you're working out you have your chest strap you know you can use a little bit of salt water or tap water but it's better to use electrode gel but also when you're using these wrist strap things like I have one on each wrist right is one of these these things actually it's a uh, stainless steel electrode inside of a piece of cloth that's wet with tap water right now the way this works is one on each wrist now I'm gonna explain something real briefly how the device works but also this electro I'm gonna explain how to make the electrode gel very cheap because if you buy the electrode gel it's about three dollars an ounce if you make it it's not as good as the stuff you buy but it's very very good anyway and it's dirt cheap plus it's healthy for your skin and you'll avoid any kind of irritation on your skin because you're putting healing things on it. But first, I want to get into this uh, device that uh, Mike sells, uh, Microbe Electrifier. This is actually conforms to the Beck Protocol. Thing is, I like about it, say if you turn it on, you notice the red light is not on. You turn it up, it gets into the range where microbes are electrified, which causes them not to be able to infect new healthy cells according to the patent that was done by Dr. Lyman and Dr. Colley that was researched at the new, um, Albert Einstein College of Medicine in New York City in the early 90s. And you see it's right in the range. And you can turn it up higher. I usually put it up to the range where the light almost goes off and leave it there. If you turn it up all the way, um, it's going to still make the microbes ineffective to uh, infect healthy cells. But it's a possibility if it's too high, it might cause uh, some irritation on the skin or something. Some people can't do this long. I can, but most people can't. He also has it where, um, excuse me a second. He also has it where you could turn this on 40 hertz, which avoids transvection problems completely. 10 hertz, which pretty much avoids all transvection problems. 40 hertz, you have to use it a little bit longer, or the original 4 hertz, as used by Dr. Beck, PhD physicist. Now, there's other videos explain this device, but I'm going over is how to use the electrodes and say, like, the best thing I've been finding out to use this device, you want to use it overnight or for long periods of time. It's actually easier to use this overnight because when you have it on, you don't even think you have it on. It's like you're sleeping with it. It's not a nuisance. You know, it's not a problem. So, the problem is, that the electrodes dry out after a while and then there's no electrical conductivity and then like the light will go off because there's no electrical conductivity so you want to have these like wet so the wet solution is to buy electro gel electro gel costs you like three dollars an ounce it's not cheap you can make your own what you could do is you could take aloe vera and coconut oil mix those two together and add some sea salt and mix it in this and then when you put the, the um, this on there, the electrode, you dunk it in it, it's actually going to be healthy for your skin and protect your skin where the actual electrode electricity is going through. Plus, with the sea salt combined with these two, you now have electro, uh, uh, a type of gel that conducts electricity and it will not dry out. These oils will not dry out and are actually very good for your skin. So that is a super, super cheap, very effective uh, tip, especially if you want to use this device overnight. Because I think the problem is with most people where there's uh, feedback or sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work, it really has to be set up ankle to ankle for enough hours after you work up to that. Like you can't do it right away. You have to do 15 minutes a day and 30 minutes a day until you work up to it. But once you set it, once you have this going for several hours overnight um, you will clobber uh, the microbes in your in your bloodstream you will 
and you will find an energy increase after you work up to it. That's a very important consideration. But the problem is these, like you'll see the light go off when I pull this off, these electrodes dry out. So electro gel is $3 an ounce. You can just make it. Aloe vera, coconut oil with sea salt. Mix them together. There is no exact perfect, um, you know, mixture, like, you know, how many parts it is. You don't have to measure it out. Just put a good amount of salt. Mix these two 50-50. Put a good amount of salt on it. Mix it up. Put the electrodes in there. They will stay conductive. It will, like, protect your skin. And it will not dry out. And it will stay conductive all night. So that's what you want to do. And that is a cheap, cheap way. And this also works for your um, cardio meters. Like, if you have your chest strap and you can't get a good reading sometimes usually that's not a problem because when you're working out you sweat but sometimes people want to get a more accurate reading or they want to get that reading in there good right away use a little bit of salt and you don't need to use both of these oils you can use one or the other you can use just aloe vera or you can just use coconut oil but it has to have salt in it but these two are big time skin healers skin conditioners and um, also uh, coconut oil is actually something that's antiviral in itself and antibacterial so actually like you're not going to get any kind of like um, pathogens growing on the electrode cloth electrodes it actually keeps them almost like sterile in a way so that's the way to go and uh, they're not like totally sterile but it actually keeps a lot of the germs off of the um, uh, the um, electrodes themselves the cloth themselves because nothing can really uh, last and grow like a virus or a bacteria in the coconut oil so it's good stuff to use when you're making this homemade um, gel that works as, a, as an electrode gel so it's fantastic price you can't beat the price and it's actually good for your skin so sometimes people have a little bit of skin irritation from having these things on too long that's another solution that will address this too because both these things are very much soothing and healing for the skin and also like um, Besides nourishment, the coconut oil is antibacterial and antiviral. So you're not going to get any problems where some kind of junk is growing on your skin like a fungus or, or a bacteria or something. It's actually going to take care of that. So this is a fantastic solution that's very cheap.